Hi guys, this is lesson number 18 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to wrap text around PSD or PNG image file. As you can see that I have a picture here for the kid and I remove the background in Photoshop. I save it as a PSD. Then I import in Coral Draw and I wrap text around that. So let's see how it's done. First of all, we are going to import the PSD file. I will show you here. I have a file. Click on file import and as you can see that this is the picture here we have and i use photoshop to remove the background from this picture i crop only one side and i save it as a psd you can see that here psd file format is a photoshop document okay and uh, this file is having this image without background so i am going to import this if you will save in photoshop as a png file also it is the same thing uh, you can same way you can wrap text around that but it will not show up this way psd png file it will show up as a, an image as a thumbnail of an image but once you will uh, import in coral draw there is the same procedure to wrap text around with the png file so i have your psd file i am going to import click it and import now my mouse cursor it is loaded with this uh, picture i will click and drag to place in my page and you can see that the image is here now once i will create some rectangular shape or anything and i will fill with color just i want to show you let's say i have yellow color here with this shape i will bring it object order to back of the page as you can see that this picture is not having any background look at this you can see at the back so this picture we are going to use to wrap text around you cannot directly wrap text in coral draw with a psd file we need to create path around this okay if you have psd file there is a different procedure to wrap text around so this is psd file let's keep it at the side here and we will import the text i can use placeholder text i can go to the text tool you know this uh, how to bring the placeholder text just click and drag to draw a text box then uh, go to the text and here at the bottom we have paragraph text frame option and uh, insert place holder text click it so you will get a sample text click on pick tool if you want to justify or you can double click inside to select it and then apply justification now it is selected with pick tool i can click here and go to full justify so it is there as you can see if i will bring this picture here now this picture is under the text object order bring to front of the page and uh, text wrap option is available but if i will apply directly text wrap you will see here still text i apply but it doesn't work it is taking the square around the picture coral draw is not reading this one as a picture without background so what we need to do we need to give path to the coral draw so that path will be according to that picture and the coral draw will wrap text around in our previous lesson we learned how to create path with a piece of line but if you have a PSD image, it is more easy. Automatically, Coral Draw will create path. We can trace bitmap. Coral Draw will create path, and that path we can use to wrap text. We can make it none for now. Okay. The first thing we need to create a path around. I am going to trace this image here directly. Okay, trace bitmap. You will see the result. Quick trace. Coral Draw created hundreds of shape here to trace that bitmap and that trace image vector graphic it is in the front. You can see that based on this real picture this is created. But the problem in this we have hundreds of shapes inside because Coral Draw is reading everywhere the color in this picture. So accordingly it's creating the shapes. So if I will go here and uh, remove color from inside left click and right click here to make outline you will see that these are the basic shapes coral draw created to trace this image so we don't need that we need only a round path okay so for this thing i'm going to delete this and we will trace once again but we will approach a different way before we do that we need to make a duplicate because once i will uh, reduce the brightness we might lose the original image so we'll press plus key from the keyboard from numeric keyboard press plus we have another copy so this copy will wrap text around and this is what we will use to create the shape around so select it 
go to bitmap and here we have option image adjustment lab so click it and simply reduce the brightness to minus 100 and you can see that now our image is really black and click ok now if we will trace bitmap coral draw will not read any color inside since it's a black so it will create just the path around so let's try click on trace bitmap and quick trace you can see that now we have only path around if I want I can remove color from inside left click here and right click here to give outline and move it based on this we created this shape here and this is what we will use to wrap text around this image so let's delete this this shape is exactly according to the image that we want to wrap the text we can bring it here this way now you can see that the shape is around our image so select both of them and bring it to the text okay you can see that two objects are selected so that's why we don't have any more text wrap option so we'll click outside zoom it and carefully select the path select the shape now you can see that once I selected the shape we have this option here now I am going to apply straddle text so you can see that now nicely the text it is wrapped around our PSD image because coral draw is reading this path okay so now the problem is we have a line here so this line we can remove it once you will click it you can right click simply here on this X to remove outline so the shape is there but it is invisible and you can see that the text is wrapped around if uh, you will click it and uh, go to here and you have option here if you want you can add more gap between text and image let's say I will make point 4 and then click outside and you can see that we have a more gap around this image now you can expand it how you want to place the image but before you resize the image it is good idea to group the shape and image together so we'll select this way bring in the selection both the image and the, the shape so both of them selected we can click on group we can click here group objects Control G is the shortcut key and if you want you can go here object group and group object also that's all option available so click it now you can see that if I will move it outside click outside and select the image I don't need to worry about the shape because it is already grouped with this image so when I will bring it back here automatically text will wrap around and whatever the size I want I can give so wherever I want I can place it and the text will wrap around this image so same thing you will do with the PNG file also once you will import the PNG file same way you will go to the bitmap you will click on image adjustment lab and then you will reduce the brightness to minus 100 once it will be black you need to trace bitmap quick trace and then after that once the shape will be created with the PNG file same way you will wrap text around so that's all guys I hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you